you're watching a Sony Vegas compilation. What's happening guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial. And in this video guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to add epic film effects onto your clip. Now I know I've already done this in the past, but I want to make a really better upgraded version in 2017. So I can already see the comments you've done this before in the past, everything. I know guys, I'm aware of that. So I would say with that being said, let's start off with the actual tutorial. And as you can see right now, I have really nice uh, stock footage background ish kind of beach clip I'm going to add uh, some epic film effects onto onto it so what we're gonna do first is we are going to uh, go to the video effects tab as you can see right here and we're gonna go to and we're gonna find uh, the F and then we are going to also look for film effects as you can see this one then we're going to drag this one on top of our beach clip and we are going to scroll through the presets now presets are basically already um, like settings put in for you so you don't have to do it yourself and we have some very cool ones so check this out we have a very old film so if we play this back as you can see it really looks like it's like a beach in the 1930s 40s 50s how you want to call that so this is a really cool effect guys instead of downloading all kinds of overlays and static thing and you know uh, doing this with keyframes the black shaking it's already in for you it's freaking amazing so we're gonna move on to the next one and that is uh, this one low quality color film so we're gonna pick this one and this already looks like a very uh, low quality color film like the preset says so that's a pretty cool one but if we go to the uh, fourth one the circa uh, 1908 so this was probably estimated in 1908 as you can see uh, this is how awesome it looks let me just put it on half so it's actually less laggy but this is basically a kind of a uh, 1908 ish kind of clip uh, from that date because it's really shaking the colors are really uh, like messed up we have some static lines all around it and let's go and to go to the bottom one which is around 1980 that's around I would say almost 40 years ago so as you can see this is around 1980 so let's play again let's play it again and those are a lot of awesome presets that you guys can use so let's say that you want to make a throwback to whatever year that you want to go back in in the 90s the 80s the 70s the 60s the 50s you can also just you know put those film effects on top of your clip i don't know if you guys ever noticed that this was in the video effects tab like film effects because most people would just go to youtube and they would type in like uh, old film effect overlay and they would mess with it but you can also mess around with the clip itself as you can see if you go back to the really old one you can uh, like improve the improve the grain as you can see a lot so it looks even more pixelated. Uh, we can completely, like, completely remove it. We can put it on maximum. It almost looks like it's like a static TV or something. We can also mess with the tint, as you can see. But that's you know you're not going to see anything if you put that up all the way. But you can choose the color as well. Like you can make it even black and white, like like this. It looks like of a uh, maybe like a like a World War. Uh, like clip from a beach or something and you can mess around with so many different things so those are some awesome film effects guys i hope this video was helpful to you if not make sure to leave me in the comments down below and i will be happy to have to help you out so make sure to smash the like button down below for more vegas 14 tutorials as always on monday and friday so that is it for this video and i will catch you guys tomorrow for a brand new evolving into a better youtuber episode as usual every saturday at 7 p.m. that is 10 a.m. PSD. So thank you and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. All right guys, so we are in Vegas 14 right now and as you can see, I have the error box showing on my screen. So right now it says the following file could not be found in the specified location and then it says a location and then we have a couple of options what we want to do. So as you can see right now, it says one is search for missing file, specify a new location or replacement file, ignore missing file and leave it offline, ignore all missing files and leave them offline. Now what we're going to do, first of all, this means that you have imported a clip into Vegas 14. You have shut down Vegas and you have moved that clip to another location. So let's say that you have a picture on your desktop. Once you 
put that one into Vegas, Vegas keeps the desktop in mind. So once you move your picture from your desktop into uh, images or you delete it, Vegas cannot find it anymore. And what we're gonna do, first of all, as you can see, it is just a starburst. What we're gonna do is we're going to click on specify a new location or replacement file. Then this box is popping up. And right now you want to go ahead and look for the name of the file. As you can see the name, it says right here. Uh, what we're going to do then is we're going to go find the file. I just renamed it and as you can see if I double click on it, it is right now finally loading into my screen guys. This is basically the image and that is how to fix it. You just want to go ahead and find the file on your computer. Uh, it doesn't matter in which folder it is, just make sure to go ahead and do that. So this is how to do it guys. So I want to thank you for watching. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to smash the like and the subscribe button down below for more Vegas tutorials as always on Wednesday and Friday. So thank you for the support and I will catch you guys in the next video. What's happening guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial and as you guys as you can see there is no green screen because a lot of people have been asking like dude can you please make a video without a green screen so you guys can actually see the silver play button hanging up there so this video is without green screen so you guys can see the play button the reward in its full glory hanging on my wall right there so I would say make sure to smash the like button down below and also the subscribe button for more Vegas 14 tutorials and I would say let's get started so as you can see right now we are in Vegas and what we're gonna do first is we're going to drag in the smoke uh, the, the little transition I found online on YouTube. I just downloaded that one to my computer. So let's just drag in that one real quick. 12 seconds later. All right, guys. So this is the smoke uh, effect that I'm talking about and that we're going to use today. And we're going to make our letters and our words appear uh, when the smoke goes along, as you can see. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a chroma key on top of the smoke because we want to see through the smoke, not only black. So we are going to scroll down until we find a chroma key. We're going to drag the default one on there. We're going to change the color to black so we will actually, actually see through it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add this one uh, to our you know to our text so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to media generators we're gonna click on titles and text we're gonna add a default one and we're gonna put that one underneath the text so let me create a new video track as you can see and we're gonna put the smoke up above it as you can see right there then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it as short as a smoke then we're gonna type in I would say uh, just Alex Alfred we're gonna make that one a little bit smaller I would say 20 maybe that's yeah that's that's great then we're gonna choose a nice different font because we want to have something a little bit different than the standard one so I think if we pick uh, this font that looks actually pretty great let me see if we have any other on other fonts all right this one looks pretty good so we're gonna just close this out then what we're gonna do is we're gonna mask this text so what we're gonna do first of all is we are going to uh, check mask at the bottom then we're gonna just make a uh, piggy anchor creation tool then we're gonna make a little kind of a square ish rectangle uh, next to the text so right, then we're gonna start using keyframes and then we're gonna make the text appear in the screen so what we're gonna do now is we're going to place our keyframe a little bit to right here to the right then what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, put the text actually then we're gonna start making the text appear so I'm gonna make a few keyframes uh, this one right here just drag this guy a little bit to the right so it will actually start to appear then also put a new keyframe down uh, drag it a little bit to there, drag another keyframe, place it a little bit more, another keyframe until the full text is fully visible. So I think I need one more keyframe and as you can see right now just Alex Halford is full in the screen. So let's see what it looks like without the actual uh, smoke. As you can see that looks really great but we're gonna cut from where it starts. So I'm just going to um, cut away this part as you can see now it's starting with the J so if I put the text over it and let me also uh, put the text a little bit to the right so, I'm, so it will look like it's synchronized with the smoke this is how it looks 
So as you can see, that looks really amazing, guys. So this is how you make text, uh, like a text smoke effect, make the text appear uh, like under smoke, how you want to call this, this is how to do it. That looks really awesome, guys. So this is how to do it. I want to thank you for watching. That is basically how simple it is. You just want to animate the, the text under the smoke and make the smoke uh, synchronize uh, with the letters, as you can see. So that looks really, really awesome. And this is how to do it. Now you can start doing it on your own text. So I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for the continued support. I will see you guys uh, tomorrow or maybe Sunday with a new remake of an old video. My old video, the, the how to drive a car easily video is actually actually four years old on June 7th a couple of days ago so I just want to make a nice remake in 2017 so make sure to stay tuned and make sure to check out that video that will release either Saturday or Sunday I'm not really sure but I want to thank you for watching I'll see you guys in the next video and I'll see you guys next time just Alex Halford